Craigslist find. It's a 1979 uh, star shooter uh, by a company called uh, Allied Leisure. Uh, they produced a lot of pins through the 70s, maybe into the early 80s, and you know, other arcade games like Clay Champ, the two, gun the two shoot, guns right, shooting yeah. game. Uh, it's in beautiful shape. Uh, I'll have to show you Underneath the play field, it's got all the original solenoids. Oh, wow. It's n none of the wires have been cut or, or anything. It's in really nice shape. There's some cracked plastic parts up here. Yeah. But uh, for an old pinball machine, uh, it's in great shape. Plus, the cool thing is it's a cocktail table model. Right. I have, um, this is the first time I've actually mm -hmm. seen a cocktail table um, or pinball machine. Yeah. I don't think it would have been a, an arcade piece. It would have been more of a restaurant or a bar. Right. Um, I, I've actually never seen one before I saw this. Though, um, I, I did watch a YouTube video on a, a, a joust pinball. Uh, Williams oh. came out with a joust pin, but it was head to head. So you had a player on this side and a player on this side, two flippers, two flippers, oh, and nice. you were battling each other. And uh, uh, those are real expensive. I'd love to get my hands on oh, one of those. <laughs> Maybe we'll see something like that at Zapcon. I, I don't know. We'll Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. But uh, this it's a nice looking piece. Um, it's small, uh, fits just about anywhere. So if somebody wanted a pinball machine in their house, right. they could use, they could eat breakfast on it and <laughs> yeah. play pinball before they go to work. Just put in a cloth on it and just right there and yeah. get yourself your dinner and then after entertainment. <laughs> yeah. So cool, cool. I'm glad you like it. Oh man, I like this thing. This is, this is so, it just blows my mind. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have a, a soundtrack. It's got uh, right. We'll see there electronic little, chimes. The little uh, sound, little the, beeps and the the beeps and dings and. so cool I like this um, maybe we can uh, do we have the key to maybe yeah we open we'll open it up, up here let's see I got the key right down inside here came with a nice original oh, manual yeah um, that opens up, the glass slides right. forward, and it pops up, it comes off. Oh wow. It's really easy to surface, to service. Yeah. And then the play field just pulls up, and there's a little latch on the bottom here. You can push that down and it'll... Just slide it on the way up? It'll pop right up in the oh, place and stay. Oh, that is beautiful. Right there. But, uh, it got all the original wiring. Nothing's been modified. Nothing's been yeah. done. Nothing to it. Everything's nice and clean. Nice and clean. Original. Oh, that is. That just blows my mind just seeing this. You can still see the original solenoids in there. Yeah. Wow. Tim, thank you so much for showing me this. I, 
Yeah, um, you bet. I'm blown away, you know. You bet. But, I'll move the camera here and get a shot of the computer board. Yeah, you know that like, computer board's very, it's like, that's another thing that's very interesting. All right, you can see in the back here, you've got your power supply board, uh, you have some bridge rectifiers, um, some LED lights and fuses to tell you whether you have your supply voltages. Um, here's your, your motherboard. One real interesting thing here is this set of uh, jumper wires. Yeah, I see and that. That's your, your dip switches. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You can actually just do the. Yeah. So there's like a, a grid in the manual that allows <laughs> you to. So. so doing the dip switches will be like one of those old school uh, telephone mm -hmm. companies. Yeah. I will switch you. Yeah, I will like switch you. Yeah, you see <laughs> these long edge connectors on the bottom of the board, the bottom of the motherboard there. Yeah. It's like ja JAMA connectors on steroids. On steroids, yeah. <laughs> wow. So, that... Now, that, now that I found this one, I wouldn't mind seeing some others. They had quite a few others of the same model, or the, the same, same you know, configuration of cabinet. Uh, one drawback is, um, you see on uh, this little slingshot here, um, the, the parts are plastic. That's what I've been noticing. I've been... Rather than like, uh, you know, Stern, Valley, uh, Williams, uh, they were uh, metal. They were metal, right? Yeah, so if that breaks, uh, I think I'm out of luck. Uh, up on the flippers here, the little industry stroke pawl, that's plastic. Oh my uh, goodness, yeah. The little nylon bushing that goes through the play field, that's normal. Right. Plastic. Um, and then, um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, it's amazing that it's, uh, lasted, what now, 35 years. Right, and still in great condition. Still with in them. great shape, yeah. That's, the coin door is kind of an old-fashioned, uh, metal coin door, what you'd expect for, uh, you know, from the late 70s. Right. So, <laughs> just a real nice machine. But yeah, it's, it still has a little, the little tilt sensor right here, tell you that you're doing a tilt. <laughs> but, yeah. Now off on the right side here, there's the soundboard. You know, your little volume control. Oh yeah? Yeah. Your, uh, your tilt, your knocker for free games, that's probably the start relay, then the See, roller tilt. What can stuff be this simple? Like, now these days everything's all <laughs> complicated. <laughs> so, anyhow, that's uh, Allied Leisure's uh, 1979 Star Shooter Pinball. This is how you cheat. <laughs> oh wait, you need to first set the sensor that's actually in it. And then you start going nuts with it. Start throwing your ball, hitting all the sensors, throwing the throwing all the bonuses and I guess what I noticed about this one is that um once you hit a uh, hundred, a hundred? A hundred and twenty thousand. A hundred and twenty thousand, so a hundred, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So let's find out. Yep, one hundred gets your free credit. <laughs> And you 
know, with the without the glass, that thing is loud. Yeah, it's a pretty complex game. There's a lot of different things going on. Uh, I noticed. I haven't figured out how all the different features work, right. uh, but these do light up uh, as you accomplish certain certain things certain on the things, play yeah, field. The game yeah. Uh, then it's got a, a fairly complex set of instructions, so it's uh, it's got a lot of neat features for earlier uh, electronic. Yeah. <laughs> Actually got the extra ball when it lit, so it looks like I have to run it through. And I think it's when it's like here. What? I think I heard another free game. Yeah, I got another free game. <laughs> and a free, and an extra, uh, extra ball. But that beats the whole purpose of, you know, cheating that way.